Well, it's raining pretty heavily outside. So much for finding food. Damn. I need to hunt soon, though. I haven't eaten for months, and I can feel myself getting weaker by the hour. I guess I better head out and find a fast meal. That should nourish me for a while. What's a human doing all the way out here in the dark forest? Don't they know how dangerous it is? Guess it doesn't matter now. I need food and they're just prey. Foolish and unlucky prey. Meal's a meal. Did they collapse? I guess it's too cold for a human out here. Hey, little human. You okay? Come on up, darling. I need you to wake up. Poor human. They look so vulnerable right now. I could just drink from them right now to end their suffering. No, that's wrong for me to do. They look so young. Still haven't experienced much of life's wonders yet. <sighs> there we go. I got them out of the rain, they should start to warm up soon. There. They should warm up quicker. They look so cute, lying helpless on the couch. They smell so delicious, too. My meal can wait. Should make sure this cutie is warm and comfortable. Rest well, human. I'll keep you safe till you wake up. Oh, hello, little human. It's good to see you awake after you collapsed in the forest. Looks like you're starting to feel a bit warmer. Do you need anything? I'm brewing up some nice warm tea for you, and I made some soup if you're hungry. Oh, my apologies. I guess I should explain what happened. You see, I was going out to hunt my next meal. It was raining very hard, and the air was cold. I noticed you walking in the forest, and before I could walk over and introduce myself, you fell unconscious and collapsed onto the floor. I couldn't leave you out in the cold rain, so I decided to carry you back to my little cabin. Right. I guess introductions are in order. My name is Emily. I'm the vampire that lives here deep in the dark forest. Oh. Sweetie, I didn't mean to scare you. Guess I should have told you I'm a vampire when you got more comfortable with me. So sorry for frightening you. Can you please take the blanket off for a moment so I can explain? I promise to not hurt you, cutie. Please just let me look at you for a moment. There you go. Like I said before, I'm not going to hurt you. Just wanted to apologize for giving you a scare. That wasn't my intention. I thought if I told you I was a vampire right away, then maybe you would be more willing to trust and get comfortable with me. Can you forgive me, sweetheart? Thank you, little one. I'll be more careful not to scare you from now on. My, my. Seems my little human is getting hungry. 
I still have some warm soup if you want some, or I can make something else for you if you'd like. <laughs> soup it is then. Just lay down while I get you some. Here you go, cutie. Some nice warm soup and a cup of tea if you want something to drink. Do you like it, human? <laughs> Good. So glad that I can satisfy your hunger. I admit it's been a very long time since I cooked something. After all, vampires like me need blood to sustain us, so we rarely ever cook our meals. Hmm? What is it, cutie? Is something on your mind? I'll answer any questions you have. Yes, human. I was tempted to take your blood. You were so helpless, unconscious in the forest. But I just couldn't do it. It would be wrong to take blood from such a young and helpless human like you. Please forgive me. I almost took advantage of your helpless body just to sustain my own life. Thank you so much, little human. You're incredibly warm. Even without the blanket or fire, you're very warm. <laughs> Yes, human. Us vampires don't produce our own body heat, so we mainly sit by a fire if we want to feel the warmth. I could stay like this forever. I think I'm becoming addicted to your warmth, little human. Thank you, dear one. I can feel myself getting warmer by the minute. Is... Is it okay if we cuddle on the couch? We don't have to, it's just... You're so warm. And very nice to hold. Thank you, cutie. Why don't you rest on my chest? The least I can do for such an adorable human like you. Are you comfortable on my chest, human? That's good. I admit you look so cute with your face buried in my chest. My, my, is my little human blushing from just one compliment? If that's the case, I wonder what ten compliments might do. <laughs> Maybe it would turn you into a nice heating bed. Aww, your face is getting redder. That's so adorable. Hmm. What if I whisper some affirmations in your ears? Would you like that, sweetie? Maybe I can play with your hair to help you relax? That's it, human. Just melt into my arms and let go of your worries. I promise I'll keep you safe in my embrace and make sure you feel loved. Human, can I ask you something? Can you stay here with me? For a while. It gets pretty lonely out here, and having you here brings me immense joy and comfort. 
Bless the idea of taking care of such an adorable little human like you melts my cold heart. If you say no, I understand. I'll lead you to a safe way out of the dark forest, and we don't have to see each other ever again. But if you decide to stay, then I promise to give you everything your heart desires. From cuddles next to the fire, to praises after a long day, I will make sure you are loved and cherished. So what do you say, human? Thank you, human. It truly means a lot to have you stay with me. I promise that you will get all of the love, praise, and cuddles that you desire. Sorry, I can't help it. Your blood just smells incredible. I think I might need to go out to hunt soon. I don't want to harm my sweet little human after they just agreed to stay with me. You want me to feed on you. Do you really trust me that much? Okay, I'll feed from you. I won't take too much. After all, I don't want to lose my precious human. Just, just take a deep breath, baby. It'll only sting for a second. That's a good baby. Now hold still for me. There it is. I can feel a lot of blood going through this vein. Just relax, sweetie, and hold still. <clears throat> wow. Your blood tastes so divine, my dear. Better than I imagined. Just hold still for a little longer. You're doing so good for me. so well for me. You trusted me completely. Thank you for feeding me. <laughs> no, sweetie. I didn't take that much of your blood. Just enough to sustain me for a while. At least a few decades? Oh, and don't worry about turning into a vampire. I would have needed to drink most of your blood if I wanted to turn you. But I like you the way you are. Kind and loving human. Does the bite mark I left on you make you mine? <laughs> if that's what you desire, then yes. You're mine now. Mine to shower with love and affection, to spoil with cuddles and kisses to your heart's content. Just know that I will always protect and cherish you, so long as you are mine.
Can you nod if you agree, baby? Settled then, for tonight and the rest of eternity, you are mine and I will be yours. Now get some rest, baby. My feeding left you exhausted. You need your sleep. Come into my arms. Let me soothe you to sleep. There you go, baby. Just melt into my arms and fall asleep on my chest. You will always be safe and loved in my embrace. I promise to cherish every moment with you. Rest now, little one. Dream the sweetest dreams of me, showering you in love and affection, just as I promise to do for you forever. Sleep well, baby.